Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and what you just saw, it was a little sneak peek on the latest journal we just created with my Patreons. It's kind of slim journal, <laughs> even it doesn't look that way, but it's slim journal, very tall, but not too wide. It does have so many pockets uh, inside. It does have also beautiful writing papers inside. There is so many things in this journal. There are lights in front cover. And there are also separate lights in the spine. Uh, we do have kind of like shaker spine. This is, uh, there is that beautiful corset uh, stitching around the spine. And inside is uh, so many openings. And I left here uh, also something what future owner can record on it. Uh, here it's a page. Where new owner can record something, just press the button, hold the button down and you can talk and talk for 30 seconds and put there some your own message and you can record it uh, as many times as you, you will be satisfied with the message which is on the page. And we do have so many pockets, so many uh, little ephemeras in there, little notepads, kind of funny openings. So I'm not gonna show everything what is in the pocket. I'm just gonna show you the pocket itself. So here pockets and these are quite similar. So I'm gonna just show one. So you will see what kind of uh, surprises are there. And we have a view in the pocket behind. And little pocket here. And quite similar is pocket here on the bottom. There are pockets, quite similar pockets and notebooks here in these two sections. So again, I'm just gonna show you on one what you can expect here as well. So here we do have envelope with some kind of die cuts, which can be used to decorate this journal. And here it's little notepad <coughs> with the pages where you can see through the pictures. So beautiful pages with stamping and uh, with these cute uh, vases and stitching through and all kind of doodling. We do have pocket here and here I would like to show you my son Jacob just created for me digital collection for Mother's Day and he put together one sheet with really beautiful, uh, really beautiful pictures or small snippets. So I have created three cards actually. I think the third one uh, I placed here if I do believe so. Yes, the third one is here. So all these small things except this one that I added there later, but all these small things, this background and these little snippets, they are for free to download. I will put link down below. It will transfer you to my Patreon, but you don't have to be my Patreon. It's public post and you can download these little images uh, with the cute, uh, cute pictures, background shapes and these little ephemeras and words. You can download it for free if you would like to create some uh, beautiful card for your mom. So just click on that link down below. It's really for free. It's public post. And I just created a kind of like a watercolor background for these little images and then created kind of like clusters. So these are my clusters using my son beautiful collection with these uh, Mother's Day clusters or uh, snippets. Uh, my son opened his YouTube channel. I will put link down below and I hope you will show him uh, as much love as you are showing to me all the time because he is learning from me and he really loves all this craft and uh, to make digital design. He's learning so much from me and he's quite good in that. My Patreon already know that because he was uh, kind of stepping by, stepping behind 
when I was away, he made a company to my to my Patreons and he posted few videos in there and he was really good one with those videos. So he opened his own channel and he does have there his first video where he's making card for me, Mother's Day card. So I will put link for his channel down below as well. And I will appreciate if you will be kind to him same way as you are kind to me. Thank you so much for that. So here we do have another pockets here. And then another window pockets here. And they are again similar pockets. So you can open it. We do have flap here. Then you can see what is inside in that pocket. And we do have space for picture here, space for picture here, or maybe to glue some note. And if you will need a little bit more space, you just need to slide it down, open this, and you do have more space to write on. Then slide it back. And if you don't want to anyone to know that there is some note, no one has to know because it's holding nicely all together. And few more openings. So we do have here extra writing space. So writing space here. We do have pocket here and pocket here. And you can also flip it down. And you do have extra writing space all the way here plus a beautiful note card. Then we do have a little opening here on the top where you can save all kinds of small ephemeras, die cuts, little notes. And then you can just lock it together with this cute little envelope. And when you open this one, you do have pocket here with a kind of like uh, with small ephemeras, little pocket here, then is pocket behind of this frame. And to make this frame a little bit more interesting, we created with my Patreons kind of like flip out space where you can see what is inside in that pocket. And you do have also writing spot here. You do have space here to put there your own picture. And then you just need to close it down so you can see the picture through to that frame here. And then we have another openings here, a little pocket here on the top. Everything is locked to the, together with this string. So it's flip out frame here. The pocket is in there. Then it's opening here. And here I use Tim Holtz die and created this heart. Uh, we do have a frame here and I added there some a little ephemeras uh, to have something to decorate the journaling pages with. Then we do have this large pocket here. And when it's all closed, we do have also a pocket from this side, this large pocket here with some ephemeras and inserts. And then it's opening here with another huge amount of pockets and openings. So I'm gonna open both of them. We do have these beautiful pictures here as a main point of these pockets. And from the back side, we do have these window pockets with some tags and ephemeras here as well. Then we do have this see-through pocket with little note card. And this can be used also in the journaling pages uh, as extra, extra pocket. So I left here this space, so if you will put glue here on these three sides and glue it on journaling uh, in journaling pages you can have kind of like a little flip out with the pocket and this gorgeous card and we do have uh, kind of like cascade of decorative elements and tags here the pocket from other side with so many die cuts which can be used to decorate this journal and then a cascade of pockets here with these gorgeous pictures and then pocket here in the back side and again a little note card and again made the way that you can glue it on your journaling pages and another beautiful card here
and as a last pocket here in all this journal I do have a little pocket here but the biggest one is behind this beautiful picture and that's like patchwork uh, paper and we created dimensional uh, pocket here and inside is a small tag and this cute little booklet for saving some ephemeras. So that's my slim folio journal or slim lab book journal. We used, uh, for creating this journal, we used file folders only, even for the cover. And the cover, it's very strong just because we made so many layers. Uh, the cover gave me <laughs> quite a hard time because the lights <laughs> surprised me through the night. <laughs> so if you wanna see how I was struggling with the cover, Come to visit my Patreon, come to join my BC Lords, which cost $15 per month. With this, you will get access to all my tutorials, which I made for my for my Patreons, and also to all ephemeras I'm sharing there. There is more, one th more than 1,000 images already now, and I do believe more than 200 tutorials. And I hope my Patreons enjoy that. And I'm, I'm so grateful to have them there. And I'm so grateful they were so patient with this, with this project. It gave me so long time to finish it. So that's all of my sharing for today. Uh, I'm going to give you a link for these freebies. And also a link for my son's new channel. And for all those who will be celebrating Mother's Day, I wish you the best day ever. I wish you that your children will show you how much they love you. And I hope we will see each other really soon. Thank you so much for visiting me today. Have a beautiful day. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.